1976 Renault 16. This is the TX model. If you know your Renault 16s, that's the uh, top of the line. All singing, all dancing models. The TX got these alloy wheels. Uh, they got full leather interior, electric windows. Pretty posh in 76. This little spoiler on the back. And a few other little bits and bobs. If you check the description, we'll detail the full sort of trim level of that TX. There is only 10 TXs left on UK roads now as well. Super rare car. A lot of these things rotted away. Nobody really sort of looked after them back when they knew we did this, so they sort of disappeared away. This one is in beautiful condition. We'll start by looking at the bodywork. If we start on this right-hand side and look down the side of the car, you can see nice and straight, those body lines nice and sharp all the way down. The panel gaps are all even all the way along. On this front wing, the arch itself, lovely and clean and sharp all the way around. No sign of any corrosion in there at all. The wheels are in beautiful condition, I'd say. Looking at those, they've just been recently redone because they're really, really good. Uh, and I believe we've got matching Michelin um, cross climates all round. Lovely condition. Loads of tread left. I would say they're pretty much brand new. They've still got the little sort of strands on them. Lovely and clean on that front wing. No real marks or anything to note on there. We'll go down this sill on this side again. Apart from a little bit of road grime, which we'll clean off. That's lovely and clean. You can see underneath from here. Again, really nice and tidy. Nothing at all to complain about there. Coming down this door, around the wing mirror, this seam and at the bottom of the screen where you'd think you'd find a bit of corrosion. All lovely and clean. Going all the way up around that seal again, nice and tidy. Quite, quite a deep gutter on these as well, so you would think you'd get a bit of trap moisture in there, but again, as you can see, clean and crisp. The rest of the roof, nice and straight and tidy, nothing to whinge about on that. All the glass on this side, Nice and clear, no ingrained scratching or anything like that. Even when the door shuts and everything, nice and tidy. The doors shut brilliantly as well. Don't have to shut them, you don't have to slam them. They just close properly. No no real marks to note on that rear door. The chrome that makes up the handle again, lovely and clean as well. As is around the wing mirror area. A couple of sort of little tiny marks on the wing mirror. Actually a lot of them look like the polish off. Even the chrome around the windows is very, very good. And again, on this rear quarter light, you'd think you'd get a bit of corrosion popping up there. But again, as you can see, lovely and tidy. It's rear arch. Again, really nice and sharp all the way around, especially down that bottom area there. Another good wheel and Michelin tyre. Coming round on the back. That chrome work, beautiful, clean, tidy. The seams down there, which again, you'd find a bit of corrosion. It's lovely and clean. Low balance. All nice and tidy. Rear tail lights on both sides. Clear, crack free. No sign of any moisture or anything like that. And this sort of black section, which again would be sort of filthy dirty by now. Really, really good. Around the rear screen, that's all good. There's no sign of any corrosion coming through there. Heated rear screen with a wiper. 16 TX badges on the back there as well. Have a little look underneath from there as well while we're here. Very, very clean car. I know the customer or well, the vendor did wait for a nice dry day, no moisture on the roads before he brought it down. Drove it to us as well, which is always good. Lovely and clean coming down this driver's side. Nice and sharp all the way along on that rear arch. You can see on the camera there, really, really clean and tidy. I know it makes for a boring video, not really being able to whinge about anything, but it does make for a very, very nice car. Another nice tidy wheel and Michelin tire. All the glass on this side. Clean, clear and bright, no scratched, no ingrained scratching or anything on that. Can have another look at the roof from here as well. Check it on the top of the windscreen edge. Really, really good all the way around, down and along the front there. Same story as the other side, on this side really, no marks or anything to note on the door if we're being very, very picky. There's a tiny little chip just there where it's caught something on the edge of the door, maybe caught the garage wall or something like that. Being very picky. All the chrome work on this side, just as good as the other side. All the way around. I'm sure we can find something to whinge about if we try hard enough. I'm really struggling though. Really good all the way along that sill. It's not been jacked up wrong or rammed up any curves or anything like that. On the front arch. Okay, nice and sharp all the way around. Proper metal all the way around on all four arches. 
nice wheel and another Michelin tyre. So we've got matching Michelins all the way around. The chrome on the front bumper, just as good as the back. You can see more of me as you can than you can of the car. I do apologise about that. All the headlights on the front on both sides. You've got these four lamps and then the side lights underneath. All clear and bright. Grill nice and dent free, tidy. Underneath there, all good as well. Been parked here for about an hour. There's no fluids dropping on the floor there. And then the bonnet itself, got this lovely body line going all the way down, which it continues down the roof. It's a really nice touch, actually. You know, there's more and more nice features on this car the more you sort of spend some time with it. Bonnet, lovely and straight. Around this vent is all good. Around the wind, windscreen wipers on both sides, nice and tidy. So body work wise, very, very nice, very, very straight. All the door shuts are nice and tidy. Bottoms of the doors, as you can see, are good. Interior is this black leather, or I'm imagining leather. Doesn't feel like leather. Lovely and clean on this passenger seat. There's no sign of any wear or anything. Really, really good. These large headrests are tidy as well. Even the adjusters on the side are good. It's obviously had mats down for most of its life because the carpet's set underneath. Lovely and clean. This side of the dash with this leather, leather section again. Really nice and tidy. Your TX16 badges here as well. These giant vents along the front. Not one of those slats is cracked or broken. You'd think at least one of them would be by now. At the rear passenger side. Nice and clean on the door card. The rear bench, lovely and clean. Got a big armrest as well. All nice and tidy under there. Backs of the seats are good. They're not sort of been kicked or abused. Again, the door shuts on here. You've got one little scratch just there, but other than that, lovely and clean. Headlining. All nice and straight, not dropping down anywhere. And into the boot. Got these sort of twin arms as opposed to rams, they lock in place. It has had a set of speakers cut into the back, but it is under the material on the top, so you can't see them from the top. Underneath, nice and stealthy. Lovely and tidy in here, you've got this full length mat. If we lift that up and have a look, you can sort of get access around the tank area. Again, nice and clean, no sign of any corrosion or trap moisture. Again, that boot shuts as good as the doors, just a simple push and away it goes. Nice and tidy on the driver's side. Again, like I said, that rear bench doesn't look like it's been used hardly at all. And then into the driver's side. Same story with this seat as well, no real wear, it's not collapsed, it's nice and firm. Really, really comfy seat. And you've got this big armrest in the middle. And another one lower down there with a with a storage compartment in it. It looks like it's hard. It has it's had that sort of vintage style stereo put in it where it's got the USB and the aux, but looks like an old one. Dash is really pretty, lovely and clean. Eighty five thousand miles on this one. Even the clock still works. Proper Jaeger clocks, nice and smooth. And then the steering wheel, no real signs of anywhere on that at all. Very very good. All the switch gear is clean, it's not sort of worn out or anything like that. All of the printing on it's still nice and obvious. And then in the bonnet. I have to excuse the dodgy camera work for a second, I'll get that lifted up. And you've got that 1650cc Renault engine. Get that bonnet propped up. Spare wheel, jack, all nice and present. All the plaques are visible where they should be. Obviously had good ownership as well because anything that's been done has been labelled. It's labelled in French. Can't tell you what that says, no idea. It was off that day at school. Leveling clean on the inner wings. You know the corners there where you'd see sort of moisture build up. It's all really nice and tidy, even around that vent area. Like I say, it's been sat here for a little while. No sign of any fluids dropping on the floor. It was driven to us. Lovely little four-speed column change manual. Hop in and it is worth pointing out as well actually. I'll show you before we start the car. These come with st a standard with central locking, and whereas this one has been fitted with electric central locking, so there's no putting the key in, just hit the button. Works perfectly as well, really nice touch. We'll get this started up. It's got that sort of auto choke. Takes it to about 1500 revs there. Nice and happy. We go around the back. Nothing nasty flying out of there. Lovely and smooth up front. 
So there you have it. One of 10 Renault 16 TXs left on the UK roads. If you've got any questions at all, please get in touch. Thank you.